write down the products of ozonolysis of 1,2 dimethyl benzene that is O xylene. Okay. How do the results support cacule structures for benzene? Well, the fun part is if you just look at cacule structures, these will be these two and these. And very interestingly, if you ozonalize benzene, you would discover that you get the actual products as the breakup structures of each of these. What does it mean? If this happens to be the structure, I would obtain Please note these two are same. So I will obtain 1, 2, 3. This is 2 oxopropanal. That is and glyoxal. There are two products like this. This is repeated. This is what about them? In this case, very funny, <coughs> you would obtain two moles of glyoxal like this. You will obtain glyoxal again. In addition, you would obtain butane dione. Actually, when you ozonolyze 1, 2 dimethyl benzene or O xylene, you obtain not two but three different products. You obtain glyoxal, you obtain 2 oxopropanal, and you also obtain butane dione, which is a kind of proof. Why? Because if you take these of two calculus structures, there are two different structures, and if you ozonolyze only one structure would give you only two products. The other structure would give you again only two products. But in actuality you obtain all three. Which is a kind of proof that actually both these structures must be valid, they must be true and then only you would be able to obtain three different structures like this as ozonolysis products.